So I need to make some more leaves for this owl journal cover that I'm working on. Um, I apologize for not filming the process of the owl. Uh, it's quite a complicated piece. Um, still have a little bit of detail work left to do in it and some painting, and uh, but right now it's still raw. And um, it's, it's very hard to concentrate sometimes on something that's a little more complex when you're filming it. So I decided just to... Uh, um, see where I could take this one. Um, anyways, but it's time for me to make some leaves and uh, I was playing around just with some pan pastels <coughs> and uh, Skinner blend and uh, came up with these leaves and um, they're quite pretty and they're, they're easy enough to do. I just thought maybe I'd show you my process. So just recently, I kind of lucked out. I was at a wedding where they had uh, on the table as a decoration um, these uh, preserved leaves. And uh, I believe they're probably preserved with glycerin. So uh, they'll stay intact for quite a while. So uh, they let me take home a, a branch of them and that's what I've been using. So I've made uh, a Skinner blend um, that probably won't show very much anyways, but so you could use a solid color. Um, just you'd want it to be a color that would coordinate with what you want to end up with and I found the best way to do it for me was to uh, put a leaf top and bottom and um, it's not most of it isn't going to show on my uh, journal but I think I might make some extra ones and make some fall leaf earrings because I think that'd be quite pretty so I'm just going to cut uh, a width and uh, so that's going to make a big leaf but you can uh, trim it down without a problem so put the leaf down I want to get the tip in there because I'm going to trim off the base and I'm, for now I'm just going to hold it in place I'm going to take another leaf put it on the other side I'll use a bit of a bigger one line up the veins a bit though and then just give it a good press uh, I've tried it with a roller and uh, you can do it but really uh, um, you could do it just as easily with uh, with your hands so the clay that I've done the Skinner blend I've rolled it out on the uh, medium thickness on my uh, pasta machine so uh, it's probably about one millimeter it's a number four on my atlas so right kind of in the middle. So I'll give that a really good press and get all that detail in there. And then pull off the leaf. And you could do this with real leaves too. Um, you know, before they dry up. And so I've got a pretty impression on both sides. So now I'll just, I know I don't want it that big, so I'm just going to trim it up. my leaf. Now I'm going to flatten out these edges after but not until I put the color on. So for the color I'm using my pan pastels and uh, you could uh, you could use paint. You can antique them. Um, my journal will probably be antiqued afterwards anyways but um, uh, I'm going to color them ahead of time. So I'm going to use black to uh, to put the veins on. And I'm going to do both sides. And if those, uh, the veins were popped out, then I would probably just leave it like that. But my, my goal here is to have that dark color uh, move into the uh, lower recesses. 
So I'm going to use a baby wipe and maybe put a little more alcohol on it because it's kind of dry. And just mush that around a bit. Then I'll use a, a dryer sheet. So you want to pull a lot of that black off. Sorry, my camera stopped for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Um, I'm not even sure how much it actually caught. But um, I'm going to do another one anyways. So that's the leaf with the, with the veins. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some color on it now. I'm doing fall leaves for my uh, owl project. So I'm just going to use a couple of colors. Uh, an ochre and this bright cadmium red. And... Uh, just with my finger because I want to put it on very sparingly. Especially the red, you want that very sparingly. And you could use other colors. I could put greens and stuff in there. And um, I don't know that you want to use more than two colors per leaf, though. Then I'll flip that over. I'll do the same thing on the other side. And I could use a sponge. I could use uh, that soft applicator. Um, you know, whatever to, to put that color on. I found it just as easy to apply it with my fingers. So then after you've got a bit of color on, then I'm going to just kind of pinch those edges a little bit. And that'll get rid of that cut mark. Because you don't want that on your, on your leaves. So it's kind of like a pinch and roll. And if your hands have pastel on it, that's not a bad thing because it's going to color that edge. Okay, so then uh, then we put it on the uh, put it on the journal. Decide where I want it. I'm going to give it a little bit of a, a pinch by the base, so I can start to ruffle it. And I know I want, I want one up here. And then it's just a matter of pressing it down in a few places so that you've got some volume to it. So that's another leaf. So I'll make one more and then um, 
that that will be it. I'll uh, show a picture of the journal when it's all finished. And, um, well, let's just make another one. <laughs> And if I get enough of them made for uh, earring, I'll uh, I'll post a picture of that too. Okay, so cut another piece. And it's I mean you can vary. Yeah, if you have a Skinner blend, some of them can have the uh, the lighter color on the bottom and the darker color on the on the tip, and uh, vice versa. So that'd be a good way to get a little bit of variety. Uh, the Skinner Blend, like I said before, doesn't show a whole lot. good. I didn't find these preserved leaves needed a release. They seem to peel off quite nicely. Okay, I'll trim that up. I think I need a really small one this time. Pantastel on, first the black. I could spend a little more time trying to force it into those veins. Okay, so I'll put a little alcohol on here. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Almost too much though. So it's kind of a fine line. If it's too dry, it won't take it off. If it's too wet, it might take off too much. This one's just a hair too wet. Okay, flip that over, do the other side. So it's good actually just to move it around without wiping it off with a wetter one. Then switch over to a drier side and start wiping it off. If your towel is too wet, a light touch will take it off. When it's not too wet, then I found I needed more pressure. I did try it with alcohol ink. And uh, um, it went into the veins beautifully, but it was really hard to remove from the top surface. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways to do this, though. Okay, 
that'll be my top, but this side is drier, so we'll start with that side. And maybe this one I'll put a little green on it. to make it match the other side I'll put a little bit of green and I'll thin out those edges And then I guess you should always have a look at it and decide what side looks best. This side looks better to me now, so I'll use that side. looks pretty good okay so um, uh, that's it for now I'll be back after just um, really quickly with a pin uh, finished picture of the uh, journal when it's all baked and uh, it will be antiqued and painted a bit more and um, thanks for watching hope you like that bye